Welcome back. This is part five in our video series looking at image 12 verse 10 of the secret treasure hunt. In our last video we showed how the image can lead us to creating our own V and it also led us to a potential final resting spot for the cask but uh, I didn't believe that was the correct spot. So in this video I'm going to show you where I truly believe this cask could be hidden. So looking back at the verse, that line from the middle of one branch of the V continued to bother me because I realized that I had chosen this branch and I hadn't yet considered this branch. But if I was taking a line directly east from, from the lighthouse and I was taking a line directly east from the middle of this branch, there's no way that they would intersect. But I wanted to see what would happen if I did take a line east from here. So I just dropped it down. So I'm going to switch our viewpoint here. And there is halfway on the hour hand. So we'll get rid of that. You can see the blue line there. And so I said, well, if we take a line directly east from the, the halfway point of that line of the V, then what's that going to look like? So I just extended a line out to see where it was going to go. And it immediately went through a park. And so I started to focus my attention on that park. And this is Astoria Park. And when I zoomed in, the first thing that I saw when I zoomed in was that this street is 22nd Drive and this street is 22nd Road. And when I thought back to the line before where it said take twice as many east steps as the hour, Twice as many east steps as the hour could be 11 o'clock. You take twice as many, that's 22. And so it's essentially saying take 22. And here we have 22nd and 22nd. So I, I, I took them and I extended them into the park. And that gave us a search area with a line that's coming off the middle of the V going directly east and it's giving us a search grid. And if we look for an image match, you'll notice if we zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that the bridge has these giant arches. And in our image, we have a huge, giant arch. So I was able to find a video. This is a walking tour of the park. And as we're approaching the bridge, he's actually approaching it from this side of the path, going right through this direction. So he's actually coming from the other side of the bridge. I mean, that column right there is a perfect image match. Now, there's nothing else I've been able to find, and it's been 37 years, so things do change. But one of the thoughts I had was that this flower could be something that at that time maybe was potentially the, the possible image to, to give you a confirmation on where to dig. I mean, it could be a tree that's leaning slightly. You know, there's a lot of tall trees in that area, and obviously they would have changed over 
over 37 years. There are some, some kind of images in here. Maybe there's something in there that I haven't been able to see because I'm not there that would potentially help in this area. But I think that with this line going directly through this arch, that this area in particular between these two could be, could be relevant. The other thought I had was that the verse... You know, we used take twice as many E-steps as the hour or more from the middle of one branch of the V to essentially triangulate using two points of reference. And so we also have the word or down here. So it's possible that look down and see simple roots in rhapsodic man soil is another point of reference that we need when we're on the ground or gaze north toward the Isle of B. And those two things together will triangulate again once we're on boots on the ground. And it's interesting, the Isle of B for this location, if I drop a line north from this intersection, that is going to be the North Brother Island. That does have an interesting connection to wrap up our immigration theme because this island was once used as for the smallpox hospital that was on Roosevelt Island initially. And they moved it here to this island, the North Brother Island. And it was a place where they quarantined people. And so I think that that puts sort of a nice little bow tie on that thread of immigration and how immigrants were bringing disease through this particular puzzle. And I really do believe that Astoria Park is the search area. So if there's anybody in New York that wants to go down there and check this out, feel free. I'm on the other side of the country, so there's no way I'm going to make it out there. And I think one other interesting little thing that, that I've noticed on some of these puzzles is that there seems to be just little tiny confirmations and hints with places from one puzzle to the next. And I just thought it was interesting that this particular line goes through a place called Mill Rock when there is a, a millstone in the Milwaukee puzzle. And I, I just think that there are little tiny things that he used from puzzle to puzzle that would just sort of help confirm that you're kind of on the right track on these things. So Astoria Park, I, I would definitely consider it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that overall the, the clues point to Roosevelt Island, but the solution leads away from it to Astoria Park. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'd like to thank you if you stuck with me through five videos. Um, give me some feedback, people. Let me know.